I'm not quite sure how I qualify for this job. I kind of got voluntold. Oh well. How am I going to figure this all out? I laid awake last night thinking about all the possibilities. What combinations of smells attract zombies? Or better yet, how do we test these theories? Just many of the things that have been floating in my head keeping me from sleep. It's not like I can sleep anyway with the things we've been through. But I do what I can. I have one solid idea, and I'm going with it. We're Alive, a story of survival. Chapter 7, Blood, Sweat, and Fears. Part 1 of 3. One, two, three, four. Come on, guys, you can do it. Keep your heart rate up. It's not about strength, it's about endurance. I hated Jim. The sweat messing up my hair, shirt sticking to my back, being forced to do it even in college. And yet, here I was, running my own personal sweatshop to drain every last drop of perspiration from each and every occupant of the tower. Riley put together our exercise room from what she could find in the apartments. She found everything from treadmills to thigh masters. It wasn't much, but it got the job done. Come on, guys. Keep going. It's all about giving us the edge. I've never sweat so much in my life. Turn the fan on. The sweat will dry up. You can do without. It's too hot. Why the hell aren't you doing this too? Because I need to collect and label all the samples and make sure it's done right. This is cruel and unusual punishment. Ah, oh, save it, Shapiro. This is nothing compared to what we had to do in basic training. Hey, Angel. Let's see who could do the most push-ups in five minutes. You're on. Come on, Callie, just a little more. No, that's it. I'm taking a break. Water. I've got water right here for you, but that's only if I get 20 more jumping jacks from you. Uh, I don't deserve this. After 20, you can take a break and send someone else up. <laughs> Lizzie, you got a monopoly going. How so? You're in charge of water, and you make them sweat, and then you get your money for a drink. I'm not charging them. Only saying. I see a get-rich-quick scheme in the works. That doesn't make any sense. Just keep pushing you. You're not sweating as hard as Angel over here. That's because he's more out of shape than I am. Don't. Don't listen to him. He's just delirious. It happens when you can't handle it. Here, Angel, hold still for a sec. Okay. Okay. Hard to do. When I was, was going so fast. Almost got it. Don't drip. Okay, that should be enough. What the hell are you putting it in? I have to dilute it with a little water to get it out of the towels. But we're putting them in little shot bottles. That way we can seal them up. I'll break them if you need to. Riley came up with it. Nice touch, huh? Yeah. Here, I'm done. Thanks. Oh, wow. <laughs> I can smell that from here. Gross. Why did I volunteer for this job? Ah, here you are, Liz. I emptied out a few more bottles for you. Just set them over there. Okay. So, where should I start? I'm all set to get back to working out again. Oh, we have a jump rope over there if you want to. I see it. Thanks. Oh, sorry I'm late. The plants are really starting to come. Oh, she's here. Looks like you're full. I'll come back later. Is that okay with you, Liz? Actually, Pegs, no, I'm sorry. I need all the samples I can get for the experiment. The more bodies, the better. Are you sure? I wouldn't be asking if I wasn't. 
bags over here. We can chat while we work out. No thanks. It's all the same. I think I will work out in the stairwell. <sighs> did, did I miss something? No, that's just it. You didn't miss anything. She's just overreacting. Hey, I'm, I'm all done here. <laughs> okay. We'll change so we can try and wring out your clothes. Oh, all right. Oh, hey, stop right there. Go no further. She meant change in the other room, Saul. <laughs> I knew that. too many stairs. Are you talking to me? No, just talking to myself. Oh. All right. I'm always talking to myself. Oh. Oh no. I hope the sun isn't throwing these plants. Don't worry, little guys. I'll get you some shape. Riley, shouldn't you go back downstairs to your shop? This is my area up here. No. Oh, so you want to take this from me too? Bullshit. I'm not gonna spend all day beating around the bush. You're mad at me for just hugging Michael? Are you that naive? I have every right to be mad. Really? You think so? I was there. I saw you two getting all cozy together. And if that's the way it's gonna be, then- Cozy? That's not it at all. I was just- to be doing a really good job of it too. There's no reason to be jealous, Bex. I don't like Michael. Not one bit. Well, not in that way. <sighs> I'm supposed to believe that. How could you not? Maybe you can't, but I see Michael only as a friend. And I like to help out my friends when I can. Me included? Yes, Bex, you included. That's why I'm here. Stop being so stubborn, silly girl. God, I'm sorry. Besides, between you and me, I like them tall and blonde. Like Angel? Sure, <laughs> right, someone like him. So we're good, now. Huh? Uh, Michael, um, uh, um, what brings you up here? Well, Lizzie's about to put her experiment to the test. I was just going to see if Riley, uh... And Pex would love to join you and whoever else is going. I would, but I... Uh, yes, I'm... you would. Oh, uh, oh gosh, Michael, does it involve any more running in circles? My legs are still really sore. Well, she's got enough samples for now. A bunch of us are going over to an adjacent building to run the experiment... Saul's setting up a zip line to its rooftop, so I figured Riley might want to lend a hand. No thanks. I need to do the inventory in my shop, and I really need to check on Bill. How's he doing? He's on bed rest in his penthouse. <laughs> He's so mad that he doesn't have power to watch his movie, and he keeps yelling at Datu to hook his breaker box to the generator. But I don't think Datu really cares for him. I don't either, but someone has to clean his wound. Anyway, let me know how it turns out. Have fun, you two. So instead of dropping potted plants, I'll be dropping bottles of sweat? You really want to help us out? Why, well, I figured Riley might, but you, well... Actually, I'm pretty busy here. The old guy over there and I have been working hard on making shade for some of the plants. You should see. We already have sprouts, and I've allotted space so far to keep growing Bill's cucumbers, along with green beans, carrots, tomatoes, and radishes. Huh. Nothing I like. You growing any fruit? Tomatoes are a fruit. Oh. Well, watermelons will take a long time to germinate, but I also want to have a crop of blueberries and strawberries, but I don't have any seeds to grow them with, yet. I mean, it's easy with a carrot. You just cut off the tip, plant that, and wait for it to grow. Fascinating. Oh. Okay. Well, I, th I thought you might be interested. I'm sorry, that was rude. Oh, really, go on. No, oh, I know, it's not all that exciting. Look, seriously, I'm, I'm glad you're really into this stuff. Uh, listen, don't worry. I'll get Saul right on getting you more seeds when he's not busy. But you're doing a great job, Pegs. You really are. Thanks. Yeah. Uh, well. I, well, I should head down there. I'll let you know what happens. Uh, nice talking to you. Michael, wait. 
What, you change your mind? I've never been ziplining before. <laughs> Come on. It's going to be a safe experiment, right? I mean, nothing too dangerous. Michael, I don't even know what a zipline is. <laughs> That's all right, I'll show you. Is this thing gonna hold us? It doesn't look very strong. Hey, this rope's rated at 2,000 pounds, so I think it can hold you. I really doubt this knot is gonna hold. It, it, it's so flimsy looking. Would you stop touching my shit? Look, it's perfect. Have you ever done this before? Well, no, have you? Hell yeah! Mountain division, remember? This was like my thing. This shit's civilian grade, but it's all the same. Okay, we're here. About time. What happened? Blunt. I mean, Liz take her time dialing herself up for me? God, not even. Pegs too. Glad you decided to tag along on this one. I'm sorry I took a little while to go change clothes. I mean, I didn't want to come in a dirt and sweat soaked shirt. <laughs> hey, that's actually a really good idea. Liz, want to downgrade from a shirt to a tank top? Oh, I'm good. I'm nice and cool. No sweating going on over here. Damn. Here, each one of you take a pack with the bottles. I have the line all set up. We're hooked up here and down there on the other building. It should work just as if we had right clamps and proper equipment. Should? Uh, I had to improvise a bit. At least you're finally getting experience in the field. Wait, how do we get back? Saul has one line going from here to the other building, and then one from that building back down to the third floor. It's like a slide. You slide there and then back home without even touching the ground. No sense testing this too close to the tower, you know? All right, who's first? Come on, guys, it's safe, I swear. All right, I'll go first. I trust you, Saul, mostly. All right, I'll strap you in. Uh, I hope the riot or the landing isn't gonna break the bottles. I didn't even think of that. I'll be careful. Right now or never. Remember, clamp down on that brake to slow you down. No shame in taking it slow. Faster I get over, the better. Ow! See? That's why you squeeze the brake. At least he made it. He's signaling for the next person. Since we're going back and forth, I made a harness for each of us. Don't take it off while you're over there, just in case. Uh, it's uh, riding me a little high. Yeah, it's supposed to. I made yours that way. Thanks. I, I guess I'm next. All right, now just hold on tight. You're gonna go fast whether or not you squeeze down. Big girl, got it. There's the signal. See you on the other side. Oh, okay, okay. I guess it's my turn. Breathe, Pegs, breathe. Wait, Pegs, one sec. I know this sounds random, but, um, remember that packet of flower seeds I gave you? Really, now? The hydrangeas. Yeah, what about them? Have you planted them? Uh, you know you can't eat hydrangeas. They're poisonous. They're for Lizzie. I wanted to impress her. Girls dig that romantic shit, right? Uh, sure, I mean, I would go for it. But, yeah, I'm a florist. I love flowers. Should I go now? I mean, Michael keeps waving, and I really should, you know... Just just hold up, hold up. Hold up. How, how long till... It's all. Really? Now? Okay, okay. You do know a hydrangea is a bad choice for a flower to give a girl you love. What? Who said I loved her? I mean, what does that, does that matter? I mean, it's pretty. Look at the picture on the packet. Uh, hydrangeas symbolize frigidness and heartlessness. 
No, can I go now? I mean, please, this is difficult for me as it is. Flowers have a language? Yeah, and women are fluent in it. Great. I'm a heartless bastard for trying to give a girl some flowers. Look, lots of guys don't know about these things. Go to the store, look for a packet of roses or forget-me-nots. Nice message, real pretty. Now! Okay, got it. Thanks. You're buckled in. Ready? Been ready? Try not to scream. Wait! Oh, shit! Oh! Ah! Oh, no, I hate you! Oh, I wasn't expecting it to be this windy on the roof. I guess the tower was blocking the wind. We're still going through with it, yeah? As long as we keep it contained in this area only, on the west wall, furthest from the tower. Wait, what if the wind changes? You know, sends them towards our tower? Should be far enough away. Okay, are there any zombies milling about down there right now? And then I can see. All right, let's see if we can change that. Are we really about to do this? Kind of exciting, huh, Michael? That's all right. Kind of different when there's not much danger. I mean, there is no danger, right, Saul? A group of us came over early this morning and sealed off the doors that lead to the roof. We're cool. So, what do I do with it? No big science to this. Just drop one down there and see if anything happens. Wait, let me grab my video camera. Which one of you is dropping first? This one's labeled Saul. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that one works. Okay, do it. Look out below. Join us again Monday for the next episode of We're Alive. And now, a word from our sponsors. Starring Jim Gleason, Shane Salk, Nate Gies, Elisa Elliott, Claire Doden, Jay Oligario, Blair Byhauer, Scott Marvin, Tammy Klein, Nico Marvin, Manly Woods, Michael Ray Clark, and Jenna McCombie. I'm Michael Swan. We're Alive was written and directed by K.C. Whelan. Produced by Grayson Stone, Shane Salk, and K.C. Whelan. To find out more and for a full list of cast and crew, please visit our website at we'realive.com. Be sure to follow us on Twitter and Facebook for all production-related updates and future projects. Thank you for listening to this Audio Theater for the Mind by Wayland Productions. <laughs>